Hey guys, Ace here from SouthernTechEngineering.com. Today I'm going to do a free tethering or a tethering workaround. Since I do have T-Mobile and um, you have to pay for that extra tethering fee. And I have unlimited data, so I really don't want to pay for tethering if I have unlimited data. And plus, why should I have to pay for that? Now today we're we'll using an app called uh, PDA Net and Fox 5. Um, there's the free version and then there's the uh, $8 version. The free version does uh, limit you, but um, to test it out before you buy it, I'll go ahead and try that out. I've been using it all night, and then tonight uh, I reached my limit on my data that it let me do, so I paid the $8, and I got it. And I am using uh, the Note 4 right here. I'm loving it. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and um, show you my internet speeds with it. It's supposed to give you uh, the true 4G speeds, so let's check it out. Okay, guys, so the first thing you want to do is uh, go to PDA Net uh, plus Fox Files website. It's right here, uh, PDA Net.co backslash A backslash. And uh, download the one for your computer. I'll run on Windows 8. Uh, it supports all from XP and higher. So, right here, go ahead and download that. I already downloaded it. Just install it. It's a basic install, pretty sweet and simple. Um, it's basically all you gotta do. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Pull up the app. I'll show you what it's looking like. So on your phone, what you want to type in is just PDA Net. Uh, sorry, it went off. It's that first one right there. And uh, I do have the Pro version installed. Open that. Uh, go ahead and download it. Like I said, I do have the pro version. It says activate USB tether. It says USB tether activated. Right, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and show you how we're going to activate it. So once you have it all downloaded, go to your taskbar. You're going to see this icon right here. It says PDA Net ready to connect. Right click with your mouse and press connect internet USB. It says, uh, please start PDA Net on your phone. So what we're going to do is go back to our phone. Oh. And then say uh, USB tethering off. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And it is ready to connect. So we're going to go back to our computer. Right click it again. And press connect internet. As you see, it's just connected right here. I have internet connection. Uh, just to test that out, I'm gonna Google. Ah, I can type with one hand. There we go. And like I said, uh, with the free version, there is. Um, a limit to how much internet you can use, but it's worth your while to pay for the uh, eight dollars. Um, let me go ahead and show you that I do not have tethering. Uh, I'm not paying for it from T-Mobile, uh, nor will I, hopefully, because it uh, right now it's turned off. You can see that now. If I go turn it on. So, obviously, I don't have tethering uh, activated on my account, but as you can see, PDA Net fixed that for $8. That's all it was uh, for free unlimited tethering, and I have unlimited uh, data. And next, I'm going to go ahead and show you the speeds that we're pulling up.
looking pretty good so far for uh, cell phone tethering. So there we go, guys. Um, this is my results from my tethering with PDA Net um, and uh, Fox Wi-Fi. Um, honestly, if you don't want to pay for your internet at home or you're just not around it or don't have access to it, but you have your cell phone and you have 4G and you don't want to pay for tethering on your phone, best thing you can do right there. Um, like I said, the eight dollars well worth it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Once again, I'm Ace from SouthernTechEngineering.com.